Hey guys and welcome to another easy tutorial this time it's sponsored by digit space and it's about sending message SMS or text from your Arduino board via the sim 800L GSM GPRS module to your phone as you saw in the introduction and we will be sending a simple text then send some data acquired from the DHT 11 as I have here we already have a tutorial about how to use the DHT11 so about the module there are several versions but I'm using this one as you can see here or in the picture it has this little antenna it's a 3 dBi antenna with its adapter and it makes the signal reception a lot better so I prefer this version over the other known ones and this antenna will make the job easier if you want to put it in a case if you want to put the module or a project in the case and just show on the antenna outside it has these things to fix it so about the pins there are 5 volt and ground for the power and here I have 5 volt and ground then TXD and RXD for the UART connection and then I have the reset so for the project I'm just using 5 volt and ground to power it and then TXD and RXD then ground for the serial communication so about the power the first time I used it with the Arduino I powered the module using the Arduino directly and it didn't work very well it was very sketchy and dodgy so it's better to use a lithium battery with a back converter so here my battery is rated 7.4 volt and here I have a buck boost converter and I'm using it just like as a buck converter so here um, as an output I have 5 volt stable 5 volt you can use voltage regulator or whatever you want so here I prefer the lithium battery with the buck converter so this is the wiring I'm using don't be afraid all the wirings and codes are in the link right below and here it's really easy over there I have my lithium battery and it's wired to the buck converter and here I'm just using 5 volt and ground to power the module and I'm also using it to power the Arduino over here the push button is wired with the ground from over there and here it comes to the pin number 7 that's all the wiring is really easy sorry I forgot about the TX and RX over there it's the TX it's wired with the Arduino RX which is 2 and then the RX from the module is wired with the Arduino TX which is number 3 and now we're gonna see the code we are using it's as easy as the wiring so this is the code I'm using it's very simple we have the push button and we press that button it sends a simple message to your phone so here we have software serial library and here we declare the software serial for the module 2 and 3 it's RX and TX for the Arduino but on the module it's the other way around TX and RXD here I'm declaring my button pin it's on 7 and it's wired on the other side with the ground and it explains here the pull up I'm um, using this method so the button is always on the high state but when I press it it goes low here I am reading the button state it's a boolean variable here I start my two serials I have one for the module and the other one for the communication between Arduino and the computer you can use it if you want to check your module feedback and here on the loop we're constantly reading the button state and if it's pressed we write on the serial monitor button pressed and then we have here a little delay just the button don't get checked uh, or detected two times as pressed two times or three it's better to avoid that and here we call this send sms function and here this is the send sms function here we print on the serial monitor sending sms and here we set the module on the sms mode 
there are several mod dialing mode for example or receiving sms or sending we can maybe see all these things later and here you put your phone number or the phone you want to send to it uh, the data and don't forget the plus and your country code for example this is my country code and here you put the plus and following followed by the numbers so here as a message this is what we sent it's sim 800l is working this is the message we're gonna send and here you add this function it's required by the data sheet and here on the ser serial monitor we say text sent if you want to add these things otherwise you can avoid them as you can see here i'm not even connecting my arduino with the serial monitor so let's test the code of course the code that we will have in the link right below will have a lot of comments that will help you to get started with this module so now let's test it the arduino is already powered the module also is powered here also as you can note there are some blinkings there are three types of blinkings there are one every second it means that the module is looking for the signal reception two seconds delay means that the module is sending or receiving uh, gprs data and three seconds delay means that the module is working okay and can send messages so we press the button and the phone is over here we wait a little bit and here as you can see this is our message sim 800l is working and please note for the power never remove the ground before the 5 volt always remove the 5 volt first or put the ground first and then 5 volt now i'm going to add my dht11 just to get uh, humidity and temperature and then send them via sms when i press the button so all i have to do is put this module over here it's already wired i have my ground from over there it's come on and then it's powered by the 5 volt 2 and for the signal i'm wired it's wired with the pin number 8 i think yes and i upload another code it's pretty much the same thing only thing added is reading the temperature and humidity data and the message sent to the phone is changed let's check the code first so this is the second code and it's pretty much like the other code here we add the dht library for the dht 11 here the dht pin is on 8 and here we define the pin uh, sorry the type it's 11 and here I just add the data SMS and then T and H to require temperature and humidity. Here we define our DHT type. So here in the setup we add the DHT begin. We've seen this thing before, it's pretty much the same thing. We press the button and now instead of a simple message it sends a value and you can send anything you want. Just don't forget about the message length. It shouldn't be very long so here we read the temperature and humidity and we constantly read the button state and if the button is pressed it sends dht data let's check what we have in this uh, function so here we have send dht data it shows on the serial monitor sending data and here we set the module to the sms mode as before here we set our number phone number and here I have the string that I declared before it's just temperature plus string T which is the temperature value plus C and then we come back to the new line and we press uh, sorry we print humidity and the humidity value and percent so this is just a string that we send via SMS and you're gonna see the result right now so those things we saw them before and here I just add the serial com function and it reads and shows what's happening on the module the sim 800L module it shows it 
to you on the serial monitor and we're gonna check it now so I did just some uh, changes to the wiring just a little bit so here I just have to add another wire for the ground and we press the button and of course it shows you what's happening on the serial monitor and here as you can see is the temperature and humidity as just we don't talk about the calibration you can calibrate your DHT11 to whatever you want so here it's just about sending uh, data so now as you can see we can send data via SMS and here I've chosen to use it with a push button you can use it for example when the temperature or humidity reaches a certain uh, threshold you can send a warning message or an alarm message or you can combine it with some RTC and send messages every hour for example or 12 hour so you can do whatever you want choose your whatever triggers your uh, SMS sending here I did the general case which is the push button so that's it for today and on the next time we'll have Remember to like and subscribe and don't forget to join us on Twitter. I publish some updates over there or our Facebook page. Whatever you want. See you next time.